Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading for August the 21st through the 31st. You have the Ansu's rune, the rune of signals and messages. Labyrinthite, slayer of darkness and bringer of light. Ah, there it is. Helps you direct your energy, seek out your purpose, clears and protects your aura, brings transformation. We have a black gold stone, yay! The starry, starry night stone, the light at the end of the tunnel, cosmic connection. We are all part of the universe. Each of us a speck of light in the darkness. We have carnelian, which is warm and joyous and opens the heart, full of life force and success and protects from personal attacks. Your spirit animal this week is the dragonfly, which is also all about signals and receiving messages. So really pay attention to your intuition this week because a message is coming for you. Your Stone People card all oh, is Otter Medicine. Female energy, having some fun, letting go a little, not worrying so much. Your signs and signal card, oh, is the forest, the standing people, connection with nature. That's where you're going to get your message. You have three here that are all about messages and connecting. Oh, and look what your first card is. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> The standing people sinking your roots into Mother Nature. Wow. Okay, and then we have the High Priest. Intend and create. But you your intentions have to be pure. Your intentions have to be incredibly focused on this is what you want and what do I need to get there. Sister Moon says, don't forget to take time to breathe out. And Cow Spirit reminds you that the miracles are endless. Every day is a miracle. The painted face self-expression. How do you present yourself to the world? Are you truly yourself and comfortable with that? Or do you put a mask on for other people? We have the great teacher. Learn from spiritual experiences. You and your loved ones are safe. That's always wonderful. Oh, and snake spirit. Time to heal. Time to put the past in the past. It's over. It's done with. Start a fresh new day. Ah, we have Coco Pelly. Yay! Fertility. The seeds you plant now will come to fruition. This is really important with your intending and creating here. The more that you put into that this week, the more chances that it will be successful. And remember, uh, you have the stone of success too. The oracle says to wait for important information. Don't jump into the first thing. Emotions are running high. Ah, and buffalo spirit, yay. The abundant universe will provide. You're going to be okay. 
So what an awesome reading. Just remember to really focus in on any messages that you're getting this week to spend time in nature. You got two standing people cards. The trees are very important this week. So let's place our stones. We have our Labradorite, the bringer of light. Let's, I'm going to put that one on self-expression. I think that you don't value yourself and your ability to bring the light as much as you should. The black old stone, the light at the end of the tunnel. And the cosmic connection. Let's put that one on uh, the high priest, intend and create. That is your light at the end of the tunnel. And you are going to do it not someone else. Carnelian, the warm and joyous and success. We're going to put that on Buffalo Spirit. You will be successful. Okay, and let's draw your quote for this week. We've got all our quote cards back. I just put them all together. This is how many quotes we have now. That's a lot of quotes. I am not what you think I am. You are what you think I am. That's really deep. But it's talking about how we put our own doubts, our own uh, insecurities onto other people instead of dealing with it ourselves. When you make a really um, a remark about someone, it's not so much because you think that that's who they are, but you recognize that within yourself. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. Peace, love, and light. Until next time.